I'm Rosie Clark, Museums at Night Marketing Coordinator, and I'm talking today about how you can make the most of your Museums at Night event listing. Now, the entry that you type into the Culture24 database to describe your event is exactly what we then share all over the internet um, with any journalists who ask us, for example, for a list of all the events happening in Yorkshire or all of the military history events. So it's very important that you make your event as exciting and as compelling as possible. It also goes without saying that you should spell check. First up, your event title. Please don't just call it Museums at Night. This is the name of the campaign. If you do this, I will change it. Take this opportunity to make it sound more interesting. Can you use words like explore or discover? Is it a talk at sunset or a tour at twilight? Make it a title that people will want to click on to find out more. Then you'll see the 30 word description box. This is relevant if you're a partner in the BBC's Things to Do project. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, if you're interested in becoming a partner, go to culture24.org.uk forward slash BBC partnership. Next up, you've got a free text description box. This is where you can type your description of your event and make the most of this. It's a chance for some really persuasive copywriting. Now, if you're doing a spooky sleepover or a murder mystery, you probably already have a lot to say, but even the simplest of events can be made to sound exciting. I want to give you some examples. Topsham Museum are doing an event about their local railway history, and they say the friendly staff and volunteers of Topsham Museum look forward to welcoming you. Expect exciting speakers, a glimpse back into the transport and social history of our area, and possibly even a model railway. It sounds small, friendly, warm and welcoming. Um, very different example from Milmeath Pumping Station in Staffordshire. Their night shift event says, experience the warmth of the engine room, the regular beat of the great engines, the slow tick of the flow meters. Can you stay awake? Visit the boiler room and imagine shoveling a tonne of coal into the boilers, then raking out the ash and transporting it to the spoil tip. After this exercise, a slice of homemade cake and a cup of tea should help you recuperate. They've made it sound really poetic and evocative. And finally, Coat and Court say, Exclusive evening opening at the court. Experience Coton in a new light as darkness falls. Step into a candlelit, atmospheric historic house and take a self-led journey into the shadows. I'm already intrigued, even before I read that this includes complimentary drinks. So take inspiration from these, make your event sound as exciting as possible. Other information that we'll need in your event listing, the start and end times of your event. Um, how to book it, is there a phone number for people to call or an email address that they need to contact? Mm -hmm. Let us know. Um, are you charging for tickets or is it free? Again, there's a space to say this. And are you targeting any particular audience? Is it family friendly or is it best for adults only? Again, please let us know and make sure to tick the programmes box marked Museums at Night 2011. Finally, in the new database system, you can add a photo to illustrate your events. Um, the, photo, the combination of the photo and your lovely description, you can also use these as a basis for your own press releases. I hope this has been useful. If you have any questions, please email me. It's rosie, R-O-S-I-E, at culture24.org.uk. Thank you.